The last time the Naperville North football team played Homewood Flossmoor, it was in the state semifinals in 2007. The Huskies won 20-8 on their way to a state championship a week later. Friday night, the Vikings came to town with a state semifinal berth on the line. The Huskies and coach Sean Drendel two wins away from state, welcoming in Malik Norman and Purdue bound Michael Rouse. Homewood Flossmore up 7-0, back comes North. Matt Lacoste keeps it himself and rushes to the right side for nine yards and a first down. Same drive now on the Vikings 7, Lacoste again this time up the middle, flying in for the touchdown. Huskies miss the extra point and trail 7-6. Lacoste banged up his knee, he would sit out a series but return to heavy pressure from HF in the second quarter. Rouse forces a fumble, it's under the pile before Denzel Wilkins eventually comes up with it. Ensuing Vikings drive second and one from the three, Norman bounces things right, he's in untouched. 14-6, Homewood Flossmore extends their lead. Later in the second, third and 14 for the Vikings, Tim Williams throws it over the middle to a wide open Willie Ross. He's got some space to run, but check out the Husky hustle. Tyler Gear strips it away and it's recovered by Zach Corning. Huskies take over before the half, now facing fourth and 18 at the Vikings, 34. Lacoste deep down the field to Antonio Owens. Lots of contact, but no flag. Naperville North down eight at the half. Huskies come out firing in the third. Owens takes the handoff and zips in for six. That cuts the lead to 14-12. They go for two, and Owens is called on again. He takes a shot, but he's in. We're tied at 14. And so began the seesaw battle. Vikings with the ball at the north 46. Williams drops and rolls to his right, then launches to Gerald Butler. He's behind the defense and in for the touchdown. 21-14, Homewood Flossmore. Now under a minute left in the third quarter. Lacoste to Owens, who skips over a defender on his way in for six. We have a 21-21 ball game. On to the fourth quarter, Vikings working the screen. Williams passes to Norman and look at him create. He turns a five yard reception into a 70 yard score. Norman had three catches for 79 yards. Williams passed for 257 yards and two touchdowns. HF grabs a 28-21 lead. Less than a minute later, Huskies go to the hot hand. Owens from three yards out, follows his blocks and goes airborne. Touchdown 28-28. Vikings take notes and do the same, going with their guy Norman. He's rushed for more than 1,900 yards this season. Here he carves out seven of his 176 yards on the ground. Then Norman rushes forward toward the goal line. He'd punch in for his third touchdown of the night on the next play. 35-28 Homewood Flossmore, three minutes to go. That doesn't phase Owens. Running left, he cuts on a dime and breaks into the open. 31 yards later, it's a first down. Owens had 182 yards rushing. Huskies get it down to first and goal at the two, but Lacoste is taken down for a two-yard loss. On second down, Lacoste falls forward and gets back the yardage. Third down now, Owens takes the handoff, but is stuffed at the line. Down to their final chance, Nick Lifka in the game. Lacoste keeps it, but is tripped up shy of the goal line. Vikings advance to the semis with a 35-28 win. You know, we we thought we caused a fumble and we get a fumble and we get a holding call and, you know, that that might end up being the turning point in the game and, you know, that's football, you know, funny shaped ball that bounces funny ways and we just didn't, nothing bounced our way tonight. He's real motivated coming into this game, man. I talked to my old line this whole week and they kind of like talked about it was going to shut me down, so we ended up getting motivated off that and just played hard and came off with a victory. It was a great season, you know, we had a good run, but, um, it's terrible when you when it, when you end it like this on your senior season. We knew our back was on the line, you know, our backs against the rope, whatever, however you want to put it. We knew that we had to do what we needed to do to win this game. And if we wanted to play next week, which we all do, we love this game, that we knew we had to make the stand. And that's what we had went out there and did.